China has plenty of Apple fans, but most people are in the market for something cheaper. Roughly one of two smartphones sold here costs less than 200 US dollars. That's the hottest segment of China's smartphone market, with brands from Samsung to, well, Beidou battling it out. And it's about to go into overdrive. Xiaomi, sometimes called China's Apple, recently launched the Hongmi, or red rice smartphone, which goes for less than 130 US dollars. With space for two SIM cards, an 8 megapixel camera, and a 4.7 inch screen, it's certainly got the specs to take on America's finest. Even before the launch, Xiaomi had edged ahead of Apple in China, according to some measures. With no low-end offerings and no deal with leading carrier China Mobile, the U.S. tech giant is facing serious headwinds in the world's biggest smartphone market. So how does the rest of the cheap competition stack up, and could it eat even further into Apple's market share? To find out, I asked tech consultant Michael Clendenin to go phone shopping with me. The new red rice sells for just under 800 yuan. Let's go see what we can buy. In Shanghai, finding phones under 800 yuan is a challenge. We're told they're more popular in smaller Chinese cities. But shop owner Mr. Shun says many customers are asking about Xiaomi's latest model. So Michael, what do you think the phones, the Hongmi phone at 799, does it have a chance at cracking the market? Is this a game changer? Well, I think it's interesting from what we just heard. Uh, if you look at the market in the past, 800 to 1200 has actually been the more popular price band, but I think that's because we never saw a good phone below 800, right? We just saw cheap phones, but they looked, they felt cheap. So in that way, it could be a game changer. Apple can't be counted out just yet. Expectations are mounting that it will strike a distribution agreement with China Mobile, maybe in time for the launch of a budget iPhone. Rumors suggest could cost as little as 100 US dollars. The Apple brand is very popular, and an Apple smartphone at that price, everyone would want one. At least there's one winner, the consumer. For increasingly less, we're all getting a lot more. But the picture may not be so pretty or profitable for smartphone makers.